Hey, ladies and gentlemen, there was absolute pandemonium in the White House briefing room. Things went insane while Corinne Jean-Pierre was speaking and reporters were scrambling for answers. It was a chaotic scene and we're going to show it to you. But before we get started, I ask again that you please like and share, particularly those two things which are super important to the channel. Also, please comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really helps us out. Now, yesterday was a very interesting day for America. A lot of us were sitting by our phones, our televisions, our radios, our internet, when we suddenly got an emergency alert. Now, if you were following the news before this, you knew the alert was coming, and you probably didn't get startled. But they knew it was coming in the briefing room. It makes you wonder, why did they react the way they did? It went crazy for a good minute and a half. And, you know, it was just, it was Corinne Jean-Pierre. The reporters kept trying to work past it, but it was kind of hilarious too. Let's take a look at it. It is. Nope. There you go. Okay, thanks everybody. I'm just kidding. I actually just turned mine off. I turned mine off. All right. It's, I know it's, well, it works. Every couple of years, folks. Yeah. Hmm? I don't even know what it was the last statement, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Patsy. Thank you. It's going to go on a rolling, rolling basis. Be ready. But to address that, yeah, that waning support from the American public, and you know, as well as the trajectory that there is waning support from Congress. At what point does the White House would the White House reconsider the messaging on Ukraine? I mean, you know, for as long as it takes maybe an effective message in the beginning of the war, but maybe... Uh, the to show the, co the commitment to Ukraine as they stand up against Russian aggression. And he even said, and went further, right. and, and so said that to walk... You know, the president said he's going to give a major speech. I'm not going to get ahead of him. He'll lay that out for all of you. We we'll certainly will share when it will happen, the time and day of when that will happen. I uh, just don't have anything beyond beyond that. Go ahead, Gary. This is uh, quite something. Um, does the White House have a uh, reaction? Now, they knew this was coming. So why didn't they reschedule the briefing or schedule the briefing for after the test? They could have started that briefing at 2.30, and none of that would have happened. Instead, they're looking around going, well, what's going on? Oh, you know, bear with it, and you know this happens every couple of years. You knew it was coming. I mean, are you people this incompetent? You knew it was coming. Why would you not schedule the briefing for a half hour later? Let the test happen. You know everybody in that room's got a phone, right? They're connected to the internet, right? It doesn't even make sense. Why would you do this? Absolute lunacy. Absolute lunacy. From the White House, from Jean-Pierre, from everybody involved here. Just ridiculous. And you knew it was coming. Why didn't you turn the sound off on your phones? Shouldn't the sound be off on your phones anyway in the White House briefing room? absolutely ridiculous and it looks like a circus i want to know what you guys think let me know in the comments also please remember to like share and subscribe it really helps us out and it does help the channel continue to grow and get our conservative message to the people ladies and gentlemen i'm carmine sabia this is explain america we love you guys god bless you take care everybody